So, what you gotta do to make coins on NHL 18, very easy. I'll give you three examples. Two of them, pretty good way to make coins, especially if you know how to play the game, you can play the game at a high level. The third one, not so great, but you can still make coins if you're diligent and you know exactly what to do and what the market's going for. So, first things first, playing offline, hut challenges, very valuable for your time and money. You're gonna make a lot of coins off of this if you do it correctly. Basically, what you gotta do first before you do anything else, I think if you have a decent team off of your uh, returning user bonus packs or whatever, play the NHL team challenges. You'll come out with 35k and like 6 packs I think they said, 35k and 5 packs. Basically all you have to do is just win the game. And there's no, um, you don't have an objective or anything other than winning the game. So basically you get a gold pack for winning 6, gold plus pack for winning 12, semi pro, very easy to win. If you have any sort of thumbs, you should be able to win that pretty easily. Then on Pro, also easy, 18th challenge, you get a mini collector's pack, I pulled Sidney Crosby out of this pack. Really, really nice, really easy for me to do. I didn't do anything, I literally sat there, scored two goals, and then I just um, passed the puck around a little bit, game was over, boom. Sidney Crosby in my inbox, I'll sell him when he gets a little higher. Um, you know, he's still kind of low, the market's kind of iffy. Um, run through 24, rare players pack, super easy to get to. All star, not the easiest to play with, but... With the coins you get from the first 18 challenges or whatever, I would definitely go on, upgrade your team to where you have 83s and 84s, and then play this. Shouldn't be too hard if you know what you're doing. Then you run through superstars. I didn't finish the entire thing, but you get a rare players plus pack, which is, should be 20 or 25 gold rare players, which I would guarantee you get something that's at least half decent that you could use on your team in that pack. Unless you have an Unreal team already, uh, you spent like three, four hundred dollars probably not. Um, it's also valuable to do these because the silver packs get out silver collectibles and silver collectibles are selling for a good bit because you need them for some of the so some of the heroes and other sets and also the bronze packs nice to have so you have to run through these they're on pro and then playing a superstar OHL team is like basically playing an NHL team on like all-star that should be pretty easy because they're low quality players they can't really score also the goalies are very mediocre um, NHL Journey, this should be super easy too, you're playing against crappy teams until you get to the, basically like the AHL, it's still in the AHL, it's like semi-pro, but you're getting a bunch of coins for doing pretty easy objectives, like penalty kill of 65%, basically all you have to do is just take one penalty kill and then boom, real easy, score a shorthanded goal, you can score on that penalty, uh, it's a lot, like not too hard, uh, and then you get the NHL Journey, NHL Journey gives out good rewards, you get like 2,000 coins, gold pack here, uh, another like 2,000 coins, gold plus pack after 7 on all star, which passing percentage of 75%, you can literally just like fake that if you really wanted to, um, put up one goal, fake your passing percentage and get 20 hits, not too hard, and then you get a gold plus pack for playing 11, superstar, 3 goals, a shutout and win the game, might not be too easy, but you can do one objective at a time, so like you could win the game and score three goals one and then get a shutout the next game you play shouldn't be too too hard uh nhl journey very valuable to do if you have time and you don't really want to play online synergy challenges synergy challenges could end up being really good or really bad i've only played through two i haven't got anything yet but obviously i've got 3k coins out of them and they're playing on pro and it's really easy to play like 15 shots against one goal i don't even give up 10 shots against the computer and giving up a goal like okay but you're probably not going to give up one no goal against a pro computer but yeah, as you go, these are all pro challenges. There's not hard at all. 20 hits, penalty kill percentage of at least 80%, not too hard. And you'll get a player with frequent fighter synergy and then 1500 coins. Uh, as it goes, there's one for each, so pretty easy. You can run through all of them. And then they also have the team synergy ones. So 10 more shots than your opponent, shouldn't be too hard. Max 15 shots against, then you get a player with team synergies. And the players with team synergy, some of them are really good. So chances are you'll probably get something, someone, you'll get someone you can use if you do all these synergy challenges. At least one player, maybe more, I'd say probably more. Although you might just end up getting a bunch of 80s, but they're still sellable. Also, three star challenges. This is my favorite one so far. These are my favorite ones because the challenges, they're not super easy. All star, two shorties and win by two goals is not easy. But as I said before, you can only do one objective at a time if you really want to. So you can just literally run through them pretty easy. No problem. I would definitely suggest doing those. Also doing these, the packs are a little less valuable than the others, but you're still getting good coins. You'll get 7,500 coins from that one, 7,500 coins from these. And these are just win by two goals, block a shot. 
and block three shots on pro. So as long as you have a decent team from the team challenge, you should be able to run through those pretty easy. And then if you want to play with your friends, co-op challenges, you can either play with a friend that you have like sitting on the couch with you or whatever, or you can have a friend uh, play online and you get gold plus packs after finishing eight of them. Passing percentage of 80%, not too hard, because uh, you can you can fudge that a little bit. But 25 shots on goal might take you a game or two. Uh, not super easy. So that's the first way to do it. Second way to do it, I'm a big fan of them adding this last year, but this year it should be perfected, or at least better than it was last year. Um, we've got competitive seasons. If you know how to play the game well, and if you can hold your own, it's definitely worth doing. The first season's rewards are kind of crappy, but it was only EA Access, so not everybody could play. Um, but if you're in the top 1,000, you ended up with a free gold pack from basically just playing games online and getting the hang of things, getting, getting in the swing of things, so that's cool. And if you're really good, you'll end up with good rewards. Like, I remember last year, they were giving out um, Team of the Week packs, Team of the Year packs, even at the end of the year. So, I would definitely guess that they're going to do that again this year, and I would definitely play that if I was you. The last way to do it, it's a little less effective this year, especially with the markets kind of meh. Like, the, the market's been pretty... I'd say mediocre at this point like there's nothing very valuable at the market at this point players are still dropping like crazy but all you can do you go to rare gold and then you search under a thousand coins and then either if you want to build a good team this is the way to do it very easy literally just run through buy some players you like you can even use um, HutDB HutDB is the best site out there to look at all the players attributes and then you can just build a team and then build the players you like put the players you like on that team and then boom super easy to run with but um the one the last method the market method that i'm not super fond of but it's a good way to make coins if you have patience let's say you're doing homework or whatever you're just sitting there like man i want to play some nhl or at least sit on the menus and like scour the market you go to the 59th minute this has been around for years um and then you just buy players you don't see very often like let's say let's say an 85 or 86 pops up and like it's not Eric Stahl or one of the goalies because the goalies are still very very cheap um, it's definitely worth just waiting for players to come up even if they're not the greatest of players you can either find players that aren't usually on the market like Brady Shea will be good this year you can probably find like you could probably find an 84 85 full team like Cam Talbot Cam Talbot should be a decent goalie for a while until new goalies come out he's an 85 overall 900 coins I guess that's pretty simple so that's the third method to do I wouldn't suggest doing this I would suggest playing the offline mode first and then playing comp seasons before you do this but if you're really desperate to make a couple thousand coins to buy that Crosby you want or whatever it's not a bad method to go on here and just wait and wait and wait and wait until you find a player that's like not usually on the market for this cheap buy him and then sell him for three four thousand coins more than you made them for and then boom profit so uh, yeah th those are the easiest way to make coins this year um, I'll update this video if anything else comes out, if they release anything else. Uh, I would say Draft Champions too, but Draft Champions is kind of iffy this year. The rewards still aren't there, so um, yeah, I'll definitely make sure to update this video if something else comes out. This has been Donnie. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, even if you want to put notifications on, I won't be mad. Uh, I'll be making videos a lot more this year. So yeah, just make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all later. In the main. Eminem, sweet like candy cane. Drop the top, pop it, let it bang. Pop it, pop it, but it's life I cannot change.